Hello and welcome to the Quiver Channel. I'm Jason, your host. Good morning. Well, yes, it is. It's 1.16 for me. I've just woke up after my sleep. I managed to actually get a six hour sleep, which is brilliant. Now, I actually, that sleep doesn't come in one big chunk, of course. I wake up every couple of hours. It's just the way it is. But yeah, I'm feeling good for the day. Let's talk about the reality modeling tool. This tablet here. I would say it is the most amazing tablet ever built. It's the most beautiful tablet I've ever seen. It's the most powerful tablet I've ever seen. It kicks the ass of all of the Surface Pro 9s or whatever you want to call them. And it kicks the ass of the Galaxy 9 tablets. This is the most beautiful, most amazing tablet, I would say, in the world. The most costly tablet, probably as well, unless you go for one that's blinged out. Very well engineered. Beautiful to use. When you're not trying to force it into a use case scenario that it's not built for. Um, if you use it as a tablet, if you remove the actual thingy completely, just take off the magnetic keyboard, and I'll come to that in a minute. It's one of its positives and its flaws. And if you use this with the stylus that it comes with, it's got an amazing display and it's just about the most beautiful tablet to use. It's quite heavy, but this is what I sometimes carry around with me from room to room. If I want to take a computer with me to be able to talk to my friends, to talk to my AI, to actually have an AI, set up on this. If I want to um, go in the backyard, this can come with me. If every other computer in my house broke down, this could take over the role of being my primary safe space computer. I can plug my, well, I can't, well, I can plug in, but wirelessly or plug in, I can, use this with my quest 3 so i can even do all the vr stuff with it so what's the use case for this well for me it's like a backup for everything i use i've got other laptops but this could sit on a desk and i can stream with it and I can game with it. And I can utilize this in so many ways. It's got Wi-Fi 6E. It's got the fast, best new Bluetooth protocols. It's got a two terabyte inside. It's got 32 gig RAM. And it's got a 4070, a 65 watt 4070 inside it, but it's got a 4070, eight gigabytes. But what don't want, don't you want to do with this? And why is it I keep hitting a brick wall sometimes when I try to use like this? Now we come to the first floor. Not for my main use case, but for other use cases. Connectivity. Connectivity. It has one, it has a... Um, 3.5 millimeter jack for ready for mic and headphone just there it has a 
USB 3.2 gen connector there. It has a normal volume locker there. And then we switch around to the opposite side. And we've got one USB Thunderbolt connector and one proprietary connector. Now, either of these two connectors can power this unit. So you can, inside there, there is a, it's got a USB-C connector inside the proprietary, alongside their proprietary one. And so you can power via that one and plug in a Thunderbolt dock up here. But even though this is Thunderbolt compatible, it doesn't seem to cope well with massive amounts of peripherals connected to it. It's USB connectors on here are just not really meant, made for a, a desktop. You can use it as a desktop, don't get me wrong, but you've got to alter your expectations. If you want an external drive, it's best being one on your network attached storage and connect via Wi-Fi. If you have a keyboard and mouse, it's best to go with one external keyboard and mouse. It's best to go with one that is truly, that is wireless, so it doesn't take up slots. And if you use a um headset with it either a bluetooth or one that's actually wired and can connect via the five would be better i could plug my xlr version of my at 2020 into this and be fine the display is amazing is it worth the price? Yes. When this was bought, £2,700. And it holds its price. Why? Because there's so few of them out there. You could sell one of these for almost exactly the same price as, you bought, as I bought it last year. Because there wasn't many of these made. And I don't think there's going to be another one. It's a, what the fuck can we do? How can we make the most crazy, powerful tablet, laptop? Um, so, what's the solution to the connectivity? Well, I don't know. See, I've got an outlier case. I've got this was set up over there, connected to my big 4K monitor and. Yes, it handles 4K, no problem. And in this connector here, or through the Thunderbolt, I was connecting a 20 terabyte, that's a 20 terabyte hard drive, which had, was the most amazing emulation station with pretty much everything on there, every game for every genre. And it made this very sluggish. Um, whether it was just that or whether it was the the dock that I connected it to, this should have been the most fluid use thing. And as I tested it with my friends today, it was horrible. And no matter what I did, having all those things connected through it was a pain in the ass. This works best with a wireless display. I don't have a wireless display. As a second display, something I might have to invest in. Huh. So, the connectivity, I wish there was one more USB A type or a separate Thunderbolt that wasn't your primary power in.
The sound quality on it is amazing. The mic on it is actually a brilliant pickup as well. Do I regret having it? No. For my use case, this is perfect because it's tactile. It's not just a um, tablet, it's tactile, it's holdable, it's feelable, it's very good for an autistic person. Now let's talk about the keyboard. This keyboard is the one of the most amazing little keyboards I've ever seen. And it's also a pain in the ass. You see, it's a fashion keyboard. It was built to be a statement. I don't know whether you can see on there, but every key has a different set of letters on. Underneath the primary letters. And even though, though this has got backlighting, it can be confusing to use because the weird lettering is superimposed brighter than the primary lettering, the lettering for the actual keyboard. If we could see if I can take you in closer. You can see the weird lettering that they've put underneath the primary lettering is actually brighter, even though it would be different if it was connected to the system. We can see that. Now for someone, who's to say for someone normal no problem and believe me the touch and the feel of this keyboard beats a lot of primary keyboards the feel of it is gorgeous and the trackpad is one of the best ones i've ever used i love it but due to the issues with my brain and even though like i've used keyboards for my entire life but if I don't see the keyboard and I don't see the letters on the keys, my brain can forget where the keys are. That's how messed up my brain is. So for me, this keyboard is both a love-hate. If I can try to force myself to try and remember, remember where the keys are and not actually touch the keyboard, then yes. So that's really the only four forwards of the keyboard. It's magnetic connection is so freaking solid and this hasn't been, remember, I am not, I am not a fragile person when it comes to tech. I look after my tech, but I don't treat it with kid loves. This tech, this keyboard has been used in the backyard. It's been used in the living room, in the kitchen. It gets a lot of use. The only time it didn't get a lot of use is when I set it up there, over there, as the primary um, thing for the big hard drive to go through in there. And that was a mistake. Now, for the record, the Minis 4 and PC is over there doing that job and it's doing it perfectly. This is best as a handheld, even though it's bloody heavy. It's really heavy. But it's reassuringly heavy. It's like the weight of when you close a BMW door or a Mercedes door. That clunk. It's that kind of weight. It feels solid. The inbuilt track um, stand for the back of it is really nice and works really well the micro sd slot being in there gives you another one terabyte and i and this little slot down here the engineered slot for uh m2230 i mean when they come out with a four terabyte version of that i will install that in this so that this has got four terabytes instead of three no i'll have five terabytes in total so I'm changing the way I use it. But yeah, I love this amazing 
powerful thing. Oh, battery life. Well, if you put it on um, eco mode, and um, you can probably eke out three, maybe even four hours out of this. You can get longer if you basically disable the 4070 inside of it. You can go a lot longer. Out of that. You can get almost five, six hours out of it. But with everything turned on and performance mode and using the 4070, you get about an hour and a half of usage out of it. Which may seem really bad, but have a look how much time you get on the Steam Deck or the ROG Ally if you turn everything to max while you're on um, portable mode. It's a beast. This is, this is a beast. It's lighter than a gaming laptop. It's more powerful than most gaming laptops. It's bloody well better looking and more solid than most gaming laptops. And as long as you limit yourself and use and don't try to plug in an entire studio's worth of equipment through it, except using the Wi-Fi, which is a really nice Wi-Fi, then you'll be okay. So this is Jason for the Quiver Channel. I hope you're having a good morning.